For 15.4, three-dimensional solids, our essential question is how can making a model help you identify and describe three-dimensional solids? So Emma wants to draw an object for this riddle. I am a toy. I only have a curved surface. So the object is a toy, and we are only a curved surface. I'm get my marker. I'll write curved. Okay, curved surface. What is my plan or strategy? I can make shapes. Or I can use the old one. Okay. Show how you solve the problem. I look at the solids that have a curved surface. A sphere has only a curved surface. A ball is a toy that is a sphere. Do you agree? Okay. So the sphere has a round surface. The cone right here has a flat surface. And the cylinder here has a flat surface. Has two flat surfaces. So it is looking for only a curved surface. So out of those three shapes, which one is the only one that is only curved? There are only curves involved. That would be the sphere. Good job. All right. Draw an object for the riddle. Use models of solids to help you. Look at each information that you're given and come up with a plan or strategy. Number one, I am a block. I have six faces that are squares. Draw me. If you remember from our last lesson, we talked about faces, edges, and vertices. A cube has six faces. So we're going to draw a cube. Okay, draw me. Number two, I am a hat. I have one flat surface. I have one curved surface. Draw me. Out of all of our shapes that we've talked about, cubes, cylinders, cones, triangular prisms, rectangular prisms, which one has one flat surface and one curved surface? A cone. Okay, so we're going to draw our cone. All right, I am a box. I have two faces that are squares, and I have four faces that are rectangles. So what shape does that make me? All right, it's two faces that are squares, face here and a face back here, okay? And then four faces connect the shape and you have a rectangular prism, okay? I am a can. I have two flat surfaces and one curved surface. Draw me, okay? Two flat surfaces. Cylinder, good. So cylinder has one flat surface on top one flat surface on bottom, and then a curved surface all the way around. Number five, I am a box. I have two faces that are triangles. I have three faces that are rectangles. Draw me. So cone, sphere, cylinder, rectangular prism, triangular prism, what shape is it going to be? It's two faces that are triangles, so that's a big hint. Okay, so that's going to be a triangular prism. So we're going to draw a triangular prism. There we go. I am a block. I have six faces. I have eight vertices. Draw two different blocks that I could be. So this one's giving you a big hint. It's telling you that you can be two different shapes, six faces, and eight vertices. So that's going to be a cube or a rectangular prism. Good. All right. Daily assessment task. Tim has a toy that is shaped like a sphere. Which toy does Tim have? So out of those three shapes, which one is shaped like a sphere? Meaning it has no flat surfaces. Number eight, Mari picks a block with flat and curved surfaces. Which block does she pick? So out of those three shapes, which one has a flat and a curved surface? Number nine, David puts two blocks together to make a rectangular prism. Which blocks does David use? So he puts two of them together to make a rectangular prism. Out of those shapes, would the cylinders combine to make a rectangular prism? Would the cones combine or the cubes combine? Okay. And number 10, which solid is a triangular prism? Now, big hint is the name has a triangle in it, which tells me that there's going to be a face that has a triangle. Okay. Homework and practice, 15.4. All right. So you're going to read these riddles and then you're going to pay clear attention to what it's telling you. Curved surfaces and no flat surfaces. So a shape that has a curved surface and no flat surfaces. Number two, I am a block. I have one flat surface and one curved surface. 
Okay, so that one has a combined one flat, one curved. Number three, I am a block. I have three faces that are rectangle. I have two faces that are triangles. Draw me. So then it has rectangle and triangle shapes. Okay, lesson check. Wendy finds a toy that is shaped like a cube. What toy does Wendy find? Okay, so identify which one is shaped like a cube. Number five, Winston puts four blocks together to make a tall cylinder. Which blocks does Winston use? So you have to know what a cylinder is. Number six, which solid is a rectangular prism? So out of the three shapes that are there, which one is a rectangular prism? Okay, and then you have your module 15 assessment, which you guys are going to be taking tomorrow. Do not take the assessment on the same day that you do the work um, because your brains need time to think about it. Okay, all right, we're going to end this recording.